We're here with AM Commerce head football coach Colby Carthel as the Lions open the 2018 season 1 0 with a 37 36 double overtime win at home in the Chenault Cup in the Lone Star Conference opener. There's not a lot much more drama you can add to a season opener, but that was a heck of a ball game. It was a great football game by two really good football teams and uh, credit AM Kingsville, they are much improved. Coach Wilkinson's got a really good squad and they're going to win a bunch of ball games this year. So uh, we knew, you know, coming into it, defending national champions, ranked number one, you're going to get everybody's A game. You know, uh, shoot, five years ago we played six or seven homecomings, and now we're going to play 11 Super Bowls. So we got to be ready each and every week, and, and we came out and we weren't. I uh, got down early and down 16 nothing, but guys, uh, you know, dug in and fought back into the game and, and made plays there at the end to win it. Lions had to make three straight scores to end the game. Uh, Christoph Martinez with a few seconds left in regulation. So a little bit of a stumble out of the gate. How much of that was getting used to new quarterback? How much of that was defensive adjustments on a new defensive coordinator and a different offense, it seemed like, on the other side? A lot of variables at the beginning of the year. There he is, and, and you know, it comes down to turnovers, and we were just killing ourselves. We had turnovers in all three facets, offense in the red zone, special teams on a punt, and defense, I consider, had a turnover. We picked them and give it back to them on a penalty. So uh, you got to work through those mistakes, and it was very, very sloppy by us uh, in terms of the turnovers, and we got to get that fixed. But uh, the guys just kept playing and, and grew up. You saw them grow up throughout the game, and, and there was a lot of moving parts with new players on our team, a new coordinator on theirs, and, and again, there were some things we weren't expecting, but we got adjusted and, and found a way to start putting some points on the board and, and uh, made plays when we needed to. How solid is it for you to have a game like this where you have to make adjustments this early? You didn't come out and blow somebody out. You had to compete. You were challenged in all three facets. That's got to help for the rest of the year, you've got to think. Oh, no doubt. And, you know, football, it's tough to win a football game. It is tough to win a football game at any level, no matter uh, who you are. And, uh, you know, last year we started off and we, you know, shot ourselves in the foot all night out in Alabama, found a way to win eight to seven. So uh, here we won 37-36, you know. No, nothing matters in the end other than the win. And our guys found a way to do it, and that's what's going to pay off, you know, as the season goes on is that we found a way to win this ball game. But we've got a lot to improve on and uh, looking forward to kind of a long week uh, getting ready to go up to William Jewell because we, we got to get some things fixed. You and I will probably talk about a lot of individual performances in between now and our interview on Monday night at the Coaches Show and then on Tuesday. Talk a little bit about Preston Wheeler stepping in at quarterback, made lots of adjustments, made some tough throws, eluded a sack, and got a huge gain on the sideline that saved the game. He played awesome. You know, first half there were some jitters, and, and again, you know, Haskell Buff is a, is a longtime D.C. in this league. He's a great coach, and he's really got that defense firing on all cylinders there with Kingsville. So uh, it, it took a little while to get settled in, and, you know, we had two young freshman receivers, uh, you know, out there on the outside. So there were some moving parts. There were some young guys playing, but they settled in. They didn't give up on each other and found a way to, you know, start putting a legitimate offense together that second half, down 16 nothing, And after that, the lights kind of came on, and, and we settled down and, and started playing to the level we're capable of playing. So we just got to work hard next week and get better to where we can do that for four quarters. All right, a heck of a ball game here, 37-36, double overtime, seventh straight Chenault Cup. Uh, ties the record for both sides for consecutive wins with an old A&I team. That's a great win to start the year. We look forward to talking about it more next week. No doubt. East Texas, A&I. It doesn't get any better than that Chenault Cup, and it was a classic tonight. But glad the Lions found a way to win. Appreciate it. Go Lions.